So we're gonna do two minutes on the term corner post. Um, it had been requested a while ago and had been on my list. I'm at a cemetery now where the corner posts are a plenty. So you have a lot at the cemetery, um, like a lot as in a area of ground that headstones are in. So this would be a lot here. And the corner post would mark the corners of your lot to your space. You could do it in, or a section, like if this is a family section, and then your lot that you're buried on could be just corner posts on your individual lot. But they're essentially a post that's on the corner. Sometimes they get super ornate and they may put letters on them, like the last name letter of the family name. This one was created that we have a little walkway into this section of this grave space. As you can see, this obelisk has been, unfortunately, someone tried to knock it out of its, off its thing, which is horrible and disrespectful. So don't do that. Don't be that person. Um, we also have corner posts up over in this one as well, which I love. I love old sections of cemeteries like this. So we've got these corner posts and this fencing that goes around. And as you cross into this one, you can see the family name Robinson and then an obelisk here as well along with the individual stones for the person. So a lot of history in cemeteries. This is why people are taphophiles and love wandering around cemeteries because of these cool old headstone setups that you just don't find now because these would be super costly to do. Nowadays, the cost of granite and marble and stone, and everything. So this is how they do little corner posts. Oop, this is going to be a more than a two minute because I'm going to show you a kind of an individual lot down the hill here I see. It is also like 98 degrees today and humid as all get out. So whew, not the best day to go tromping around the cemetery, but I did. So you got this little one. You got little bitty, little bitty cornerstone, corner posts. But that's another example of corner posts.